Hello. So, in the previous video, we looked at how a fair coin can also give you results which are not as per the theoretical understanding of probability. We don't get the probability of head equals to half and probability of tails is equal to half always. But yes, in large number of trials, we do definitely get that. So carry on, carry on the dis discussion further of uh, calculating probabilities using Python programming. Let's do it for a slightly different case. What if we had uh, to check for, let's say, 10 tosses and what is the probability of getting exactly two heads? So I'll repeat the question. What is the probability of getting exactly two heads out of 10 tosses of a coin? So let's first look at it theoretically and then we'll go to the Python programming part of it. We'll simulate it and check if our results are close to the theoretical answer or not. So let's go ahead with that. So we have to get probability of exactly two heads out of 10 tosses of a fair coin. So, how do you proceed about it? It's a very simple question. What we need to get is out of 10 tosses two head and eight tail. So essentially what you need to get is how can we get this outcome? How can we get this outcome? If we have something like eight tails and two head, I don't need to worry about the order of head and tail. I just need to see if I have the total number of tails and heads in this particular sequence. So how do we calculate this? It's a simple question of uh, PNC, permutation, permutations and combinations. 10 C2 or 10 C8 is the number uh, which we get when we want to calculate uh, how can we choose two objects out of 10. So we need two heads out of 10 tosses or eight tails out of 10 tosses and if we just think about it more then the probability of getting one tail is one by two and the probability of getting one head is also one by two so the probability for this situation is 10 c2 half raised to the power 10 or 10 c2 upon 2 raised to the power 10. Now let's check how it is done in a python program. If you recall the previous video we have already developed the code for tossing the coin so we'll modify this code and also we have done an experiment to check if the probability of head or probability of tail is 0.5 or not and the conclusion was that it fluctuates and more number of experiments or more number of trials makes it makes it closer to 0.5 now the problem which we are facing today is this thing calculate the probability of getting exactly two heads if the coin is tossed 10 times so what we'll be doing here is the modified function which we'll be writing here is we'll be taking tosses as an input. I mean 10 tosses or 15 tosses, 20 tosses and it will give us the probability of the experiment if head 
is equal to 2 or the number of times I have uh, got head is 2. Now this will give me probability plus 1 because that's a sure event for me if I get 2 heads. So if I keep on doing this experiment for more number of times, I will have a fair approximation. So we'll be repeating this in a two layer way. What's the two layer? The two layer way is like this. We'll be first doing it for a fixed number of experiments, which we'll be writing over here. One, two, three, four. Now this experiment means that we'll be tossing the coin 10 times how much? So if I want to toss the coin 10 times for three times, which, which means t 10 times, 10 times, and then again 10 times. So I'll be writing here three. If we want to make it only single 10 times, so one. If you want to make it 100 times, uh, 10 times, so 100. If you want to make it 25 times, 10 times, so 25. So this is just a way to write how many times we are going to toss the coin 10 times because this is what our concern is here tossing the coin 10 times now we will also be wanting to uh, get if the problem is converging or not so for that we'll be doing it for 10 times now i could have changed it to 5 uh, so let's change it to 5 just to make it more clear or else you'll be confused so what we'll be doing is we'll be doing this for five times and checking the numbers if in the five uh, probability figures which we'll be getting there won't be much fluctuation it means we have conversed to a solution so let's try with experiments equal to one which means i'm tossing it only for single 10 times which means just 10 times so let's do it so you can check it it's already converse, but we know that it cannot be zero because obviously there would be situations when you would be getting two heads in a single 10 tosses of coin. So we won't be taking any number which is converging to zero or converging to one because we know those two numbers are absurd. So let's increase the zero. Now we are getting 0 0.1 and 0 0.0 which is huge difference. It's like from 0 to 10 percent which is a huge jump so it will not be taking this also as the answer increase how much now again it's fluctuating it's it's closer to what we want but not that close remember we want 0 0.043 or 0 0.044 let's increase the zero that's the idea of simulations keep on increasing the zeros now it's really close to our answer 0 0.044 0 0.048 0 0.047 but there's a 0 0.039 it's very troublesome and 0 0.048 is also not that good for us let's increase a few more zeros mm -hmm. obviously it will take a lot of time but it's okay now you see it's actually close to what we want 0 0.043 or 0 0.044 so we will be taking this the answer we will be reporting at 0 0.043 or 0 0.044 so i hope this video was insightful for you or even if it's not we'll be giving more such uh, ideas in the future and probably will like one of these uh, one of these videos in the series of Python simulation. So let me know in the comments below if you like it or you want something different from me. Uh, if you want something on economics, physics, or uh, maybe biology, just let me know in the comments. And also subscribe to this video if you like it. And also press the bell icon and keep sharing the video with your friends and keep watching. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.